How did you get into astrology? Well, originally I was a deep enemy of astrology, believe it or not. Uh, I was a highly scientific anal type. And I recall in, oh, I recall as late as my middle 20s being someone who would uh, openly insult astrologers. Uh, I didn't have much, there were certain times in which I did not have much manners. Uh, then, um, in fact, what is it? Have you heard of the philosophy of Ayn Rand? She was someone who believed in utter rationality. Well, that's, that's oversimplifying it. I, I actually still have respect for a lot of what she has to say. However, uh, she, would have, she would have and did think of astrology as complete, being complete nonsense. And I subscribe to that theory myself. Uh, however, life lived under utterly rational considerations alone is a juiceless life. And I drifted away from it. Since she was an entr entrance into philosophy, I used that to study more philosophy and then to study Chinese philosophy, simply because it was interesting. Also, since I was 14, I used I, I made health and nutrition a hobby so that I could have fun keeping myself healthy. And Taoist philosophy tied in with the macrobiotics diet. And that made it even more interesting to me. So I already learned the rudiments of, of Taoist philosophy through macrobiotic um, diet. And then I got myself into Southern California and learned and got into the animation, animated cartoon business. I used to make uh, help make He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, if you remember that. Oh yeah, I I'm, remember I'm one of those culprits. Okay. And uh, uh, a Korean gal, very pretty woman, very brainy, very pretty woman, she asked, she said, uh, uh, was working on a sheet of animation bond during one of our breaks, and I said, well, Kunsu, what have you got there? And she says, oh, this is Chinese astrology. Well. I'm, she was too pretty, she was too nice a woman and too pretty for me to be rude to her. So I said, well, tell me all about it. She starts telling me to, all about this astrology in terms I already understand because I already know Taoist philosophy. So I'm saying to myself, I don't care that I don't believe this stuff. This is interesting. So she kept on teaching me, uh, telling me about this, and I, I asked her for some more information. She gave me Xeroxes of her Korean language notes and translated them to some ex minor extent. And I started learning about this, and this is how I got out. Got, this is how I got into astrology of any kind at all. And this was back in 1986. By the way, I used to watch the Masters of the Universe every day in 1980s. And I used, to, I used to take notes on it because I was going to design my own role-playing game based on it. <laughs> I know all about Skeletor and He-Man and Tila. <laughs> well, they gave me Tila to draw a lot. Or Tila, yeah. Because she was hard to draw. The thing is, is you can take He-Man and you can distort his face a little bit and he still looks like himself, right? Uh -huh. But if you take the ladies and you distort their face, they don't look like the character anymore. So, I was one of those who was very precise in my drawing back in my back in those days so uh, the, I, I had the harder job of drawing Tila and also I, I learned quickly that you you don't you don't thicken up their thighs because you don't want your superheroines retaining water <laughs> so, oh I thought I always thought she was hot you know Watch it well in. if you draw her right she is hot <laughs> even though even though the drawing was really really stiff and only the mouths would move and you would have people facing away from the camera doing all the dialogue and you'd get the reaction shots. <laughs> right? <laughs>